Jazz and Sean. Today is my first day of school. And I'm trying to pick out what to wear. Guys, I have tonsil stuff. Okay, guys. Not feeling that well today. Just thinking these jeans. I'm trying to figure out shirt or something. Either I wear like a tank top with a cardigan or a bodysuit with a cardigan or a sweater with them because it's kind of cold. The high today is 74, which is kind of it's like a good amount. So, opening this drawer, I'm also not in my house right now, so just take that into consideration for why things are so messy. These are my tank tops. This one's really cute with either a gray or a black cardigan. I don't really know which one works better, so I'll see after. But this is what I'm thinking. It's not shower my hair, and then my first class is not until 12, so that's pretty late, but I have a lot of time. It's only 8.14. I also want to pick some banana bread before I go. brush my hair and then dress. Okay, yeah, so I got dressed wearing this shirt with this cardigan with these jeans that I'm stacking on Cheerios while I'm getting ready. Now I just have to brush my hair. This is the brush I use. It's really good for when you come out the shower. My hair is dry today. I showered with hot water because it was freezing this morning. So it's 60 something degrees and it's gonna get in the 70s by the time I have to go to school. I have three classes today. Two of them are in person, and then the last one is online. Each one is like an hour to an hour and 30. Mondays, I have two classes online near the night time. On Wednesday, I also have one class. I'm a morning person, so them making my classes later in the day is kind of annoying because I like to just get things done. attention no because they're just talking about syllabuses anyways i am so pissed today it was the worst day ever it makes me not want to go to the school it makes me not want to live here let me tell you guys what happened today so i'm going in the uber as you saw in the first clip it started out horribly i had a water bottle in my purse right here I had a water bottle in there. It was about this full and the bottle was this big. And I opened my zipper because I want to get my headphones out and I feel something wet on the zipper. <laughs> oh shit, the water spilled in my backpack, of course. In the same pocket were my notebook, which I didn't even get to use yet, and my laptop that I just got when I graduated was wet everywhere. And then I dried it and I like it was filled with water. All my pages got wet. My laptop was wet from the inside outside. But I thought my laptop was fine because it was still turning on. Then I'll get to that later. I get out of the Uber and I feel my the left side of my pants, like the back, and it's all wet. And then I went to my principal's of accounting class. 
My brother just brought my laptop in and he said that the audio settings were wrong and that's why there was no sound coming out of my laptop because basically I thought that I broke my speakers on my laptop when all the water spilled on it. But I guess it's fine, even though I'd never touched my audio settings. My first class was Principles of Accounting, and I did not enjoy it that much, honestly. Like, they were just talking about the syllabus, and the teacher didn't even let us meet anybody or like, introduce ourselves to anybody. Kind of boring. And I had a two-hour break right after that class, doing absolutely nothing. I went to the library and tr was trying to figure out why my Spotify premium canceled and why it wasn't letting me renew my premium. So during that whole two hour break in that horrible Uber car ride, I couldn't even listen to music as therapy. I had to go to Principles of Management. That class gave me a little bit of hope because the teacher was a lot better, he was speaking more English than Arabic. He actually introduced, like he made everyone introduce themselves to the whole class. And that helps a lot because you have to know like who's in your class, like come on. If you're in a room with strangers, you're not going to be comfortable and you're not going to be confident and you're going to be shy and you're not going to want to talk to anybody, that's just how it is. At least he did something right. Tell me why that this class is an Arabic remedial class for people who don't really know how to understand it that well or like read as well and stuff, but she's literally only talking in Arabic. Um, I don't know how I'm going to get through the school year. So I'm just gonna go edit this video and yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video.